Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerenica Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. Now, if you haven't already, girl, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, you know, for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads. This is so annoying. So I'm gonna try to keep my arms still, but y'all know I talk with my hands, so it's a little hard. Right now I'm actually packing because I have somewhere to be. And I was like, y'all, these looks are so good. I wonder do they wanna see them before they hit the gram. So in this video, I'm actually gonna be styling up some pieces that I'm actually packing, but I'm giving you guys kind of an inside scoop before it hits the gram. So if you see any of these looks on Instagram, don't act surprised, just go ahead, double tap, you know, support the girl. If you end up recreating any of these looks, don't forget to tag me wherever you post your content. Now, all of the looks, y'all, I'm pulling these pieces from my closet. I didn't shop for any of this stuff. I think I have maybe one new thing, but if I can link any of these pieces, I will link them down below. And if I could, I'm gonna try to find alternatives for the pieces I can't link. So don't kill me if I don't have a link for something, okay? Just kind of like use this video as inspiration purposes only if you need a little style inspo this video is for you and like I said when you see these looks on the gram go ahead and double tap don't be surprised like we already saw this already okay okay the first look I have on this sweater dress I don't think this is really a dress I think this is a sweater that I purchased oversized and made it into a dress now I did purchase this thing y'all I was in college when I purchased this and this is something that I just held on to. I did get this from Forever 21 years ago so I don't have a link for this but I'll try to find something that's very similar to this. This is something that I always pull out every single year and I wear this thing so many different ways. So if you can find something similar to this I would definitely recommend sizing up just so you can get the option to wear it multiple ways but today I'm going to wear it as a dress. So for shoes I'm definitely going to go with my Chloe Betty boot y'all. I love this boot to pieces. This is probably the only pair of brown boots I have. And when I tell you these boots do the job, get the uh, job done, this is my girl. So I'm gonna pair it with these boots. Isn't it good? Like, it's giving the vibes, right? Now, when it comes to the Betty boot, so many people are always telling me that they wish they would have gotten their hands on this boot. This is the perfect time to get this boot. If you didn't get a dupe when this boot was hot, this is the perfect time to get the real deal, the real Betty boot. You can't find it on a pre-love market right now for a great price. A recommendation, I wouldn't pay more than $250 for it because that's just my vibe. With this coach, y'all, this is probably one of my faves. Cause y'all know when it comes to coats, I'm a trench coat girl. I think it's just my style. It's edgy, but it can be chic. I can dress it up. I can give a more like ele elevated, elegant look, or I can just give you like a grungy, edgy street look. I love me a trench coat. Most of my coats, I'm gonna say 95% of my coats are the trench coat style. So this girl, girl, if you can get your hands on her, 10 out of 10 recommend. I have been recommending this jacket every year since I purchased it and in the back let me take it off let me show y'all look how big this jacket is y'all this is a size 4 it is huge so what I usually do if I'm not wearing it like tied up ugh, and it's two-tone are you seeing this two-tone goodness I also have this jacket in green and it's also two-tone this jacket girl they're so good. I think I'll repurchase this one too. Um, to give me a little silhouette when it, comes to, when it comes to trench coats, I always tie the belt in the bag just to cinch in that waist a little because trench coats naturally have an oversized fit and if you don't cinch it in the back, it just gives you more of a boxy look and it can make you look larger than you actually are. So this is the vibe. Simple, cute, easy, effortless. Are you seeing me? And all I have to do is accessorize. Like this is good. It's just giving effortless. And one thing I am loving y'all, the red big hair looks so good with like neutrals and earth tones. I'm obsessed right now, okay? I'm loving it. Now for this look for accessories, you can add accessories. I could do maybe a cuff. Matter of fact, let's do a cuff. I probably would do what is this? Yeah, I would do my Saint Laurent, not Saint Laurent, my Hermes CDC cuff because it's like more of a grunge, edgy feel. So I would do that, something simple when you can't see my arm. And I would probably just go in with my everyday bangle, add a few casual infinity bands and bam. I could add a hoop, but I'm not going for a hoop look today. If I go for a hoop, I will want something. The hoop will have to be a thin hoop. And I don't have any thin ones. All the hoops that I have, they're kind of like chunky and like 
the huggy style that's not what i'm going for so today i'm not going to over accessorize because looking back especially as my style evolved looking back at older pictures i kind of learned sometimes i could over accessorize and it could just kill a look and looking back like looking over some pictures and videos i think the thing that i was doing wrong was if i see a look and i'm like okay it's missing something i would just add more accessories when that's not really the case maybe i could have changed a bag you could change the shoe you could maybe add an accessory or remove an accessory sometimes you can remove things and that can make the look come together but one lesson i've learned in developing my personal style and kind of like elevating my style is looking back i definitely will over accessorize and that's not what I'm going for now. I'm going for kind of like effortless, less is more vibes. So. so when it comes to accessorizing today, I'm going in with these fun green glasses because I feel like I am feeling the red hair with the, like I said, the greens and the earth tones and the news. But watch this. Can we just talk about a moment? These glasses just give you what needs to be gave. You see me? Isn't she good? easy i didn't do much of nothing i just added a pair of glasses now this is the time for the big bags to shine so i'm going in with probably my favorite fall bag y'all i love this bag to pieces i know she's not trendy and she's not in style or most people i i don't care okay this is the Giva, not Giva, she this is the gucci diagnosis in the medium which is the largest size and this is my girl so anytime i can wear her i'm gonna pull her out and just like that we have Where's my pockets? We have a look. Easy, simple. She's giving you fashion girl moment. And she's not over accessorizing. Like now, if I raise up my arm, you get a little arm candy. You're getting some boot action, a little skin. I wanted to show a little leg because I feel like if I didn't show leg, it wouldn't be portioned and balanced because I'm really covered up. But giving a little leg. It's the right amount okay and over here it's not like not over accessorizing it's just good don't you you see me so just like that i have a cute little fall look now if you wanted to warm this up of course you can layer underneath one thing i'm going to invest in is a lot of leggings and tights like some flesh tone new tights because right now if i had like i think wolford have them because i saw when i was watching I was on TikTok and they were saying how Beyonce wear these Wolford uh, stockings, you know, the ones that look like her legs. I'm going to invest in those and I was going to pick them up when I was in New York because I think with this look, if I'm cold and I just want to add a little layer, all I would have to do is put on some flesh tone stockings and be out my way because I love the way that that skin looks just to balance it out so I'm not completely covered, you know, but she's definitely giving like, yeah, making my way downtown, mm-hmm. Yeah, a vibe. Get into it. So for this next look, I was supposed to return this. This still had this skirt still had the tags on it. But as I was putting looks together, I was like, oh, this look cute. Let me just try it on with this top. Just to see. So I start styling the skirt up. Now I don't want to return it. So this was a ret Zara return. It may still go back, but wait till I style it up, y'all. It's just so good. So as I'm going through my wardrobe and I'm trying on clothes and I'm mixing and matching outfits, told y'all, one thing that I always do, I realize what I'm missing in my wardrobe. And one thing I realize I'm missing, I don't have a lot of pants. I did a purge and... I threw away a lot of the pants because I didn't like the fit on me, the style, or it just wasn't the vibe anymore. So now I don't really have any bottoms. So I wanted to add more skirts, more shorts, more trousers, and I picked this skirt up from Zara. Now the thing is this, the skirt is cute. This thing was $59, $60 basically. Let me just show y'all how it really go, hold on. So, ooh, I'm a little scared child. She's short, okay? I'm scared to turn to the side, baby. This thing is mini itty bitty. So as soon as I tried it on, and I also tried it on when I looked a hot mess, I said, I'm taking this back. Cause I'm scared of her. I'm scared to breathe, girl. Even right now, I'm scared to move in this thing, okay? But I started styling it up. Just watch this. I begin to style it up, but I'm trying to look at this. I think I will want to do, let me see. I think I want to do this coat. The trench, this denim trench is cute, but I think it's a little light for me. So I think I will wanna, hold on, I wanna switch it. Okay, I like this, I like this. So with this skirt by being super short, if I was to wear it, I would definitely have to wear it with like a coat or something over it. But for $60, if we're being honest, I wish she was a little more 
had a little more volume and for me the quality isn't giving $60 so I think I'm still gonna return this it as I touch it it's giving me she and it's giving me no not for $60 so with this look, I'm going to go in with these Zara Gaither boots. Now, I just found out, y'all, the fold-over style of boot is called the Gaither, Gaither boot. And Gaither just means a shoe that has fabric covering it. Yes, fashion mommy on. Okay, so this is how it looks with the boot. Now, for those of you who are not a fan of like patterns and prints, I would definitely say get into like some whimsical prints during the fall winter because you know during the fall winter we usually stick with a lot of solids. And if you want to add a little or zhuzh, a little oomph to a look, I would definitely recommend getting like something like this. He's like a marble print top. I did pick this up from Mango a few years ago. I'm gonna see if they may re-release it if I can link something similar down below because I would definitely recommend something like this because it just adds a little oomph to a look like right now if I just had on maybe a nude top it would just look like a monochromatic look but I think the marble print top just gives you a little more zhuzh and for accessories well sunglasses child we're definitely going back in with this. Now, I'm not adding any necklaces or anything because I feel like the hair is an accessory all on its own, girl. I did keep on the Airman's CDC cuff because I feel like anytime I wear this coat and I want like a fabulous, fabulous, edgy look, but zhuzh it up, that CDC cuff, she always comes in handy. So, I'm going back in with these fun green sunglasses from the Zon <laughs> Big Daddy Basos Amazon. For this look, I also, I think I want to pull out the Givenchy Antigona. Now anytime I wear the Givenchy Antigona, you don't have to do this, but I'm very big on having the strap on it because I need when I need to put her in sport mode, I'm going to need her to be ready, okay? I ain't got time to get ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And sport mode just means when I need to just, I don't know what's about to go down. Let me put crossbody. Yeah, that crossbody strap needs to be ready. I want to tighten the jacket a little just to cinch in the waist a little more. Okay, perfect I love it and there we got a nice little fall look mm-hmm now with this look y'all can you just get into this boot jacket bag combo and that two-tone do, do, do you see us get into the boot get into the bag get into the jacket it's just giving you goodness and when you get to the top the red hair with the glasses girl, come on now come on it's fun right but she's still giving you fashion girl I look like I tried hard I did not at all, this was very simple. I really wish I could find something like this, like this skirt wise, because y'all look at this skirt. This is good, okay? Like, over here is giving you length, and over here, I'm a little nervous, it's giving you leg, okay? Oh, it's just so good. All right, so for the next look, is this really a video if I don't show an all black look? <laughs> Duh, I have to come with an all black look. So right now, I have on this, faux leather oversized shirt from H&M. This is also a COVID purchase, quarantine purchase, whatever you wanna call it. I did pick this up in the black and I picked it up in the nude. However, the nude did get ruined in storage. So I'm on the hunt for a shirt like this in nude. Can we just get into the quality? H&M did that. Now, if you wanted to steam this girl, if you have something similar like this, I would definitely say turn it inside out and steam it that way, like on this side, so you won't um, ruin the texture or anything on the shirt or dress, whatever you have. Now, underneath, I do have on some faux leather shorts from Zara. I believe those are still in stock. I can link those. Now, for this look, I wanted to go for edgy, chic, fashion moment but oh she's an effortless girly she's not trying too hard she's just here picking up her coffee and she's just off you know oh where you going sis that's what i was going for okay now y'all know i told you i'm thirsty as hell okay when it comes to these boots i am so thirsty to wear these girls okay so i wanted to style them up with this um all black look so let's get into it oh my god it's just it's just too good do you see this it's just like it's everything now you could wear it open but i'm going for like a shirt dress vibe i didn't want it to i didn't want to wear it as an actual shirt but i wanted to still feel comfortable that's why i put some shorts underneath but are you, oh, baby this boot 
that's a boot baby but i'm going for the edgy chic so y'all remember in one of my videos i think it was like current faves i talked about these glasses and i said i will return them and then i started to play dress up in my closet and i started to try these glasses on with pieces just watch this are you seeing this oh, it's just too good right so i'm not gonna return them now for this look i am gonna place a hermes cuff on the on the um wrist just for a little arm candy you just just need a little not too much okay but around that neck we're definitely going for the Celine ID necklace just to top it off. The little cherry on top. This right here, she's just, she's forever that girl. I get a lot of questions about the Celine ID necklace, y'all. I don't have a dupe and I don't have a link for her because this is a, I guess now you can say archive piece from the Celine Phoebe Philo, Philo Celine Phoebe Philo collection. Now that necklace just gave you the right amount of um. Uh, it just just this whole thing up right a choker especially something like this y'all i would highly recommend in your wardrobe because it's just so good like look at me now if you want to you can just leave it there you can just put on maybe a crossbody bag but for me i told y'all right now big bags i'm reaching for all the big bags that i have because this is the time that i get to actually wear them and i don't feel like oh i don't feel like carrying it is too high it is the perfect time hold on for this look of course i had to go in with my Helmut Lane lunch box, lunch box bag because it's the perfect amount of fashion and it's like a piece and it's just giving like get into it it's just like effortless chic like, it's just giving where are you going I don't know but we gonna look good once we get there okay it's just a black moment like I love this I think that I've learned when it comes to me getting dressed anytime I'm covered up anytime I have on something oversized like if I have on an oversized shirt jacket whatever I have to show skin somewhere so right now just this li little slither of knee is the perfect amount of um skin showing like, I feel like if I had on a pair of pants I personally wouldn't wear it closed up because I need to show something I need to show like either a little midriff or I need to cinch in the waist I need to give some type of character to the look because if it was just kind of like it would just be too flat that's the perfect way that I want to explain it it will be very flat but right now showing that skin it's the perfect amount okay now when styling all black one tip I would definitely recommend black most people think oh it's so easy to wear with black I'm definitely going to say mix different textures and patterns and even prints but make sure everything is black like right now I have on this black leather faux leather top with the black leather boots but the black leather boots have like a little shine to it and they do have a slight texture to them so you can kind of like get that vibe but with the bag it's like this beauty it looks patent leather but it's box leather so it has this gorgeous shine and it just elevates when you mix up that black with different textures and patterns it just gives you a more elevated look than you just maybe having on all leather if i had on all leather i always try to add some type of patent leather into that because patent is just it's just gonna elevate it look how that look against the leather it's just good it just gives you like another little element to zhuzh it up because sometimes i find if you have on all black it can get boring and it can look very flat so mix those textures it's going to definitely zhuzh it up for you all right so for the next look i think we're going to mix like i guess you could say earth tones because right now i am loving earth tones and nudes with the red hair i just feel like it just makes the hair and the skin everything just pops okay so even like with this top and this hair i'm loving it now right now y'all i do i don't have on a t-shirt bra i do have on a lace bra so you could probably see all of the lace and it's making my boobs look really big Ooh. so just ignore all of the the zhuzh now this top is old i believe this top is from oh this is very old y'all i want to say i got this top from mango years ago and the pants are from the uh amazon drop this is the drop with the karen britchick now these pants you can wear them during the summer but i usually pull these out during fall because i feel like it's just the vibe okay so now, the pants these are some high-waisted cargos and they have like this detailing which i love and at the bottom of the ankle or the bottom of the pants you can taper it they have like a button where you can taper it or if you want to have more of a straight leg you can just unbutton it i love the the versatility okay now, the boot darling the boot <laughs> to go with this look is the alaya booties now 
these boots are so old y'all i don't even think these particular boots are still in production however you can get them on a the pre-love market but just let's talk for a second right now on the pre-love market i would not recommend paying over 200 dollars for these boots if you can find them cheaper go for it now one thing i did see anytime i would see these boots on a pre-love market they would describe them as balding they say like wear and you can see like the wear on the boot now with my shoe personally y'all they do have like these are suede so let me show y'all they do have i guess you can say balding right here on the side but i promise you if a boot says balding with these boots i wouldn't mind it i would pick them up because y'all the boot just still look good it doesn't look like old or raggedy or worn. They look really good, especially when you put them on. They just look, they're just so good. Just watch. Girl, do you see these boots? Once you put them on, these boots, they just eat every single time. I promise you, this boot, what I love about it, they have like this thick rubber sole. It is a platform boot, but with these boots, they are so comfortable. They do not feel high and you have a nice sturdy grip because they have this really thick, um layer of rubber at the bottom it, these boots are just so comfortable but i love the fact that they add the right amount of edge to a look without just being too edgy like i love this oh, look at this boot with these pants you can't tell me this ain't a good boot now during fall winter i feel like layering is the way to go it's just going to elevate your look and with this look i want to um add this raincoat wind jacket whatever i picked this up from zara in new york and i did share this with you guys it came in this taupey this is not taupey. it's like a greenish i don't know this color it's like a greenish taupe and it also it also came in nude i went for this color because i told y'all right now i'm really into like greens and i'm loving the way greens are looking with like different neutrals and for sunglasses i'm going in with these green aviators from free people just to tie everything in and that green y'all the green with the red hair get into it it's just good right now to give this look a little more zhuzh because right now everything is just solid colors i'm gonna go in with another oversized bag and this is my fendi zuka print shopper y'all also another bag that i love pulling out during fall now i was when i first got this bag i wanted to sell it because it looked like this they didn't have any bandana on it and i wanted to zhuzh it up so i did add a bandana around the handle just to give more of that edgy look and this was just too boring for me so i did add a bandana on it and it's perfect so that zuka print i always tell y'all a little zuka goes a long way okay and right now it's just perfect. It just ties everything in and I love this, okay? It's just giving me fall fashion girly, but it's effortless. I didn't have to try too hard. I'm not over accessorizing. You could add like a necklace. I think I have a necklace on. You could add a necklace if you want, but when it comes to like big hair, I try not to over accessorize because like I said, the hair alone is an accessory, but you can add a necklace or something if you like. I didn't add any bracelets or anything, but of course I would probably go in with like a cuff or something because I don't want to do too much. Okay, we don't want to overdo it. And this right here is just like the outfit is talking for you. Like it's just giving the vibe. But the bag, the jacket, the pants, the boot combo. Okay? You see this. And looks like this is super easy to recreate. Everybody has a solid color turtleneck. Cargos was just like heavy on trend and I'm sure everybody has a million and one cargos in their closet. Everybody has at least one booty. I always recommend platform booties to you guys. So if you're a girlfriend and you've been here, most likely you have a platform booty. Or if you don't have a platform boot and you can't wear heels, you can also get away with wearing maybe a more chunky flat form or flat boot but anybody can recreate this look of throw on a jacket and you good to go sis so mm -hmm. all right girlfriend so that is all that i have for this video hopefully you guys are inspired and motivated to zhuzh up some looks in your closet and re also recreate some of these looks as you guys was able to see throughout the video these looks were very effortless these were easy not overdone not overstyled it's also things that anybody can kind of like mix and match together with pieces in your wardrobe so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video comment down below let me know your favorite look and i'll see you girls down in the comments and also in the next video